Today I'm going to show you how to get better and more reliable virtual presence sensors. That's up next. In my previous video titled Use Mobile Phone as Presence Sensor in the new SmartThings app, the video link above, I provided details for setting up a Virtual Presence Device Type Handler, or DTH, which I use to create a virtual presence switch for each family member's mobile device. The device type handler which I used to create my virtual presence switches, or VPS, was developed by a SmartThings community contributor by the name of Austin Pritchett. In that same video, I showed how to use the virtual presence switch in an automation that could arm or disarm the SmartThings home monitor based on the arrival and departure of each member's family mobile device. I've had several subscribers tell me that they're having problems with the reliability of these VPS or virtual presence switches. Typically, I instruct my subscribers to be certain that they have the most recent SmartThings app updates as SmartThings continues to release new software versions with improved stability and reliability of many devices. I also urge them to verify that each member's phone is set up to give permission to SmartThings to get a location from the member's phone. This includes enabling permissions in the SmartThings app as well as going to the phone settings and selecting the option to always allow notifications. It's important also to make sure that you have your geolocation properly set. This setting can be accessed by clicking on the house icon while in your favorite screen. Improper settings for your home's geofence can cause your phones to be detected late or not at all. Because I too was experiencing sporadic issues with my installed virtual presence switch, I decided to search the SmartThings community to see if there was an improved virtual presence device handler. What I found was a virtual presence device handler that was written by Ralph Torsia. I installed Ralph's device handler about a week ago and I found it to be better in functionality and reliability. What I mean by better in function is that my phone's presence icon now displays as either present or not present. The former device handler icon displayed our phones as either on or off, which was not very intuitive. As far as reliability, I have found the device handler to respond much quicker and more accurately than the former device type handler. If you have already installed the virtual presence which is based on my former video, then you simply need to log into your SmartThings account at account.smartthings.com and copy and paste the provided GitHub code using the links below. You then just need to change the device type handler by going to the My Devices tab and then edit the former virtual presence devices by changing the device type from the former virtual presence plus device type handler to the newly installed virtual presence sensor. If you have not previously installed and set up the virtual present device handler or virtual present switches, then I highly recommend that you watch that former video to get a better understanding of the steps that you need to take to get things set up. When you get to the section of the video where I instruct you to copy the GitHub code, you can substitute the code provided in the links below rather than installing the code provided in that former video. When setting up your virtual presence switches within the My Devices tab, you simply need to select Virtual Presence Sensor as the device type. At this point, I'll take you through the easy steps of installing Ralph's GitHub code and changing your existing devices to the new device type handler. Let's get to it. Okay, so here I am at the account.smartthings.com login screen. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Okay, when you sign in here, you gotta click on My Locations and select your home hub. And then once you've done that, then you simply need to click on My Device Handlers here. All right, and I have already created my two device handlers from Ralph's Code. One is a location mode, and the other one is the virtual presence sensor. So those are the two that you need to create. And again, the link to the code for these two are located in the description below this video. So if you've watched any of my former videos, you probably know how to do this. 
you simply click on this plus sign up here to create a new device handler all right, then you'll come to this screen where it says create a new device handler and you're going to select from code. And this is where you'll paste in the code that you get from those links below the video. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the first link, which this one is the virtual presence sensor. And when you're in this screen, you don't want to copy the code here. You want to first hit the raw button right here. When you click on raw, it'll give you this raw code. And what I do is I do a control A and that automatically selects all the text. And then you can right click, copy, go back to your new device handler and just paste this in here. Now I'm not gonna create this because I've already created it. So I'm just gonna go back to my device handlers and you'll repeat that process with the other code, which will look like this again, Remember, this is the location mode code and you want to click on raw first and then you will again do control A to copy it, then right click, copy text, go back to your device handlers tab and then create a new device handler by clicking on this up here in the upper right hand corner and then you'll select from code and again you'll paste that copied code in there and hit create. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and back out of here. Once you've created those two, they'll show up. As you see here, I have the location mode and down here I have the virtual presence sensor. Once you have these two device handlers in here, then you want to update your devices with the new device type, which will be virtual presence sensor. So you'll go up to the top, go to my devices, and you'll search for your virtual presence devices. Uh, mine are named as iPhone PS Bud, meaning iPhone presence sensor, and iPhone PS era for my wife. Uh, so to edit those, I've, you notice I've already changed mine to virtual presence sensor. Yours will say virtual presence plus, and you'll want to change them from virtual presence plus to virtual presence sensor. To do that, you simply click on your current device, click edit, and the only thing you need to do is go down and change the type. So your type is going to say virtual presence plus and you simply want to change it to virtual presence sensor and then hit update. Same thing with all of your other virtual presence devices. Go back into my devices and then if you search for type and you should see all your devices uh, updated with the virtual presence sensor. You have to each update each one individually, however. So once you've done that, you can go back into your smartphone and open up your SmartThings app, and you should see the updated icons indicating that you successfully updated the virtual presence sensor device type handler. So that's all there is to it. If you are new to smart home automation, There'll be a link to my smart home introduction video in the exit screen. The video is titled how to create a smart home 101. Take a moment to check it out. You'll learn about the three easy and essential steps needed to begin creating a successful and awesome smart home. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next home automation video and God bless.